everyone, my name is Michelle Osborne and I am the Come to the Table Program Manager for Faith-Based and Community Partnerships at the Rural Advancement Foundation International, or RAFI. Today I'll be walking you through the process of submitting a workshop proposal for the 2019 Come to the Table Conference. The 2019 Come to the Table Conference will be held March 12th and 13th in Charlotte, North Carolina. The theme of the conference is Called to Action, Uprooting Hunger and Cultivating Justice. We are currently accepting requests for workshop proposals, or RFPs, for people or groups of people who would like to present at the conference. When you visit the page for the RFP, you will find descriptions of the Rural Advancement Foundation International, the Come to the Table program, and the Come to the Table conference. Please take time to read over the important contextual information contained in these sections. Next, you will find information about the workshops more specifically. You can see a copy of the entire RFP by clicking on the link under the first bullet point. Next, you will see some of the topics and themes that we hope workshops at the conference will cover. This list is not exhaustive, but should give you a good idea of the topics we are expecting to be covered in the conference's workshops. The deadline to submit your workshop proposal is Friday, August 31st at 5 p.m. We had previously stated that the deadline was August 1st, but we moved it back, so now the official deadline is August 31st. If you would like to talk out your workshop idea or if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to talk with you about any questions you have. On the next page, you will find the form you will be filling out. If your, workshop, if your workshop presentation has more than one presenter, you only need to complete one RFP. You will just need the information for all presenters for questions one through seven ready. Question one asks for some contact information. And question two asks for your role in your organization. If you are not part of an organization, you can put not applicable. Questions three through six ask questions about identity. We really value diversity and inclusion and want to ensure that the conference is as representative as possible. So that's why we are asking these questions. Question seven asks for a brief biography. This question is subject to editorial review by the Come to the Table staff. There might be grammatical or length changes that need to be made. Question eight asks if anyone will be presenting the workshop with you. Let me show you what happens when you mark yes to this question. So this next page looks exactly the same as the previous page, but the numbers are different. That's important. This is where you can complete the information for additional workshop presenters. Now sometimes the form will autofill the information that you wrote in previously, and so you just have to go in and erase it and put the correct information. For the next workshop presenter. On the next page, you will begin filling in information about your actual workshop presentation. You will enter your proposed title, a description, and more. I know we're asking for a lot of information up front, but we really hope that this will be a helpful exercise for you as you think about what kind of workshop you want to present. This information, this information is also very helpful for us as we think about the fit of your workshop and the diversity of types of workshops at the conference. I wanna scroll down to a question down here. Uh, question 24. It says the theme of the 2019 Come to the Table conference is called to action, uprooting hunger and cultivating justice. How does your session promote this theme? This is really important. We really want to know how your workshop connects with this theme. So any information that you can provide us about that is really helpful um, as we read your RFP. The next questions ask about if you have been involved with previous Come to the Table conferences or if you have presented your workshop at another conference, 
These questions aren't deal breakers if you haven't presented your workshop somewhere else. They're just helpful information for us to have about your famili familiarity with the Come to the Table conference and your familiarity with your workshop. The rest of the page asks for more information about your workshop, equipment you might need, and etc. Let's move on to the next page. So now we're on the next page and I want to scroll down to this question marked 33. Your question numbers will be different based on how many workshop presenters you have, but for mine right now it's question 33. This question asks if you would be willing to co-present with another group. So this might come about because two different groups apply with similar workshops, or it might be great to put two workshop ideas in conversation with each other, or something like that. If this happens, we would talk with both workshop presenters and put you all in connection with each other to see if working together on a workshop would make sense. Let's go on to the next page. So now we're on to the next page. This first question says, I understand that by submitting this proposal, I'm willing to work with Come to the Table staff to adjust my workshop proposal as needed and determined by the Come to the Table staff. This means that we see this process as a conversation and a collaboration, and that we would love to work with you as much as possible or as needed to make your workshop a success. This next question says, um, it's about submitting materials on time. This is really important. We don't want to have to um, bother you about turning in your materials, um, so this question is really important. And once you reach this last question, 37 on, on my survey, then, then you're done. You've reached the end of the RFP. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video explaining the RFP process. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions you have, or just to talk about your idea a bit. I look forward to hearing from you.